Let's go to uh, Gentleman on Line 3. You're on the Laszlo Show. Hello. I just want to say, Anthony, your racism knows no bounds. <laughs> but I'm, Patrice! I'm sitting here listening to the fucking Laszlo Show, and good old Anthony that can't come out ever. <laughs> uh, you never visited the fucking Black Phillip Show to give it a boost. <laughs> you just let my nigga show just fucking <laughs> in. You don't just drop by to discuss relations. But good old Laszlo, you come by and discuss with Muslims with this fucking gaming program. <laughs> You know, Patrice. What the fuck, what the fuck Anthony? Like, I'm like, I'm sitting there going, no, this ain't Anthony, is it? No. D but no, Laszlo says Anthony 75 fucking times. <laughs> <laughs> He's visiting for a fucking six pack of beer and a goddamn voiceover. You know, Anthony, I. I, I want to love you. I, I don't want to say you. you that, that, this is this hurts. I understand, Patrice, but I, I swear to you, I would come in. But when I called when you were on last week, and this is no shit. I was told there wasn't enough room for one more person in here with your fucking posse. <laughs> can you maybe leave a few people home so people can walk through to take a piss? How many people you bring in here? It's it's people that need help, man. I want to discuss. Me and you have things to discuss. We really and do. And well said you got it for a fucking beer. I'll buy you some beer. Come visit. It's not the beer. It's his lily white skin I love. <laughs> oh, I can't believe. I fucking can't believe I'm sitting here. Laszlo, and he, and he, gets, he gets a fucking cool of a guest like Anthony Cumia to come out on a fucking Saturday. <laughs> Well, we do get a lot of good feedback on our show, dude. You know, we do have, we got the box set. <laughs> we got uh, t-shirts. Yeah. Fuck, fuck you, Lando. <laughs> Listen, Patrice, you know fuck what, you with your you fucking what, ripping off you know Disney what, font on your fucking website. That's fucking Walt <laughs> oh, Disney font on your website. Oh. Damn, no, you did, Laszlo. <laughs> Laszlo, take, take me off your fuck. Take me off a of goddamn that goddamn uh, game. That, uh, it's called Grand <laughs> Theft Auto. Take Ooh. me off a of Grand Theft, you motherfucker. <laughs> you already <laughs> cashed a check, though, Jesus. <laughs> that, well, then, who oh, are the, oh, if, you take, if, you, if he takes you off, who are the cops going to beat mercilessly? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm fucking hurt, and, I, and you're just sitting there, yes, and the Muslims, and just fucking relaxing with Laszlo. We we all would like, I think uninformed with Billy Bob would like a visit from the mascot. I have to tell world. you. Patrice, it is very nice because I don't have to do anything, and Knucklehead Wayne and Reed haven't said shit in an hour. Oh, I, I didn't know who else was on. It was like it's just I'm listening. I said, "Fucking Anthony, I didn't think you. I thought you went into a coffin on Friday afternoon and came back out Monday morning, Anthony." Well, uh, Patrice, there there have been a couple of changes, let's say, in my life, uh, and what? I'm I'm out a lot more now. What, what's going on? Changes well. Now. Well, let me just put it this way. Perhaps I should have listened to Patrice O'Neill's um, relationship you show. You motherfucker! You got rid of us! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get rid of no one! <laughs> you should never be talking to Lambo about this shit. <laughs> that should have been a fucking black Philip exclusive. <laughs> oh my god, Anthony! <sighs> no, you I. Got rid of her. You fucking got rid of her, and I don't know. <laughs> I didn't. I you was like, you know, fuck that. If Patrice wasn't black, I would have told him. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him that he becomes <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm so hurt. I know. I'm so I... fucking hurt. <laughs> I just felt you probably couldn't help me in this situation because your take on relationships is a little different than mine. And, uh, you know, it's the way things what, go. What did, oh, my God. Can I hang up? And could you please tell a slight bit of the story so I can hear it on the radio? Well, I've been kind of, you know, quiet. I haven't even really addressed it much on, on uh, our show. Uh, just oh. missing things, some things like, you know, I have to buy toilet paper now. That, and it usually just grows on the, the little stick there. And, uh, you know, it's just a little, the, the few things I got to get used to. Uh, oh, my God. Being, being a single guy. Being a fucking self. 
it's fucking orgy central now. <laughs> someone, someone uh, called my house the fuck palace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's it's on spot next week. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, it's, that is swing central. <laughs> Don't fucking go and do no silly shit like get another girl. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, hey, what a piece of shit I am. I'm not like, oh, poor, what's your name? <laughs> oh, what's your name? <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn. Now we can move on. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, Patrice. I can't believe it. Well, anyway, let me stop. I just couldn't. I'm sitting there listening to y'all. I couldn't believe I heard your voice. Lazo, you got a coup. And I can't believe, Anthony, you would not. Dude. I am. Can't, don't. Don't talk about it no. until I'm there. I'm, I'm fucking. I am guaranteeing this right now. The next show you do, I am there. I'm fucking there on your show. All right. You don't believe me? <laughs> it is I, I don't think I do. No, I, 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 I will. you and Laszlo are good friends. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm going to break you and Laszlo up after this. We're good friends. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I'll He's going to be, go on, you Lazlo threw Laszlo out. out of our life. <laughs> we, we can all share Anthony. <laughs> I'm, man, Laszlo, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna show. It was just goddamn shocking. Anthony, I need to hear more of you, this situation. I'll brief Please you, Patrice. Some, Please say something for me, please. You, not, you will be brief. He's obviously in a rebound Thank moment because he's hanging out with me on a fucking Saturday <laughs> oh night God, at 11 o'clock. fucking know. He's just a lonely old man. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> you do not get another girl until we talk. We, we will definitely talk, Patrice. This is good news. This oh, is really good Jesus. news. <laughs> Patrice I, feels like he's got a protege. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See y'all later, man. All right, man. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Patrice, that motherfucker rules. <laughs> How do you not love that guy? Dude, I had him at Rockstar two weeks ago, and he was just walking through, and there's a bunch of people at their desks, and he's talking loudly. And, of course. And, and, as fuck. <laughs> Complaining about that fucking stupid New York monster movie that just came out. The uh, oh right, uh, Cloverfield. Cloverfield. Cloverfield, Cloverfield. Yeah. Just doing a like he was on stage, yeah. stand up, and people were at their <laughs> desk and they're looking up. And and he left, and a couple people. Well, who was that large <laughs> black man who was interrupting our work day? And this other guy goes, "Dude, that's Patrice O'Neill. He's a funny motherfucker." Yeah. Patrice is great, man, and uh, his show is really fucking funny. I listened to it uh, last time because I, I was home. I was, <laughs> I was an honest show. But his take on relationships is so out there, but, and it makes sense in some sick, twisted way. It really you, does. You'd like to believe that, like in an invasion of the body snatches you've been consumed way. Like, no way a real human thinks like that. But then if you're consumed... By the bean pod, you go, yes, this is how it is. This is how it should work. Come over to this side. But I don't know how he pulls it off, how he talks to girls like that, how he talks to his girlfriend like that, who I don't know if it is his girlfriend the yeah, way he I... talks. It's a, he's, a, he's an enigma. And I, and I said enigma. I didn't say, you know. <laughs> is, that means a mystery, Patrice. Don't get all mad. Damn. <laughs> Damn. 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 Sorry, it's a, it's a Chuck D alarm. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, it's like when Wayne, when we were hanging out uh, backstage. At the, oh, there's a couple good stories with Patrice. At the, mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, my sister, who is a, a pure, don't tell me, lovely no, girl, not even he's, invited he's back. Verge. Not invited verge. back for dinner now, is she? Oh, <laughs> on the, didn't go that far, thank God. Jesus. On on his lap. Looking horrified while he's stroking her back. She's like, shh, calm down. Shh, shh, shh. And he's like, like, he, like he was, let me just coax this filly into immoral yeah. Congress. Exactly. And, and, and it was just. He's one of the smoothest motherfuckers and, you will ever see. And he's in the process of inviting her back to his house with his old lady for a threesome. Of it's course. Not just, it's not just gonna hit you. That's his, that's his M.O. all the time. Is trying to get a girl back. And now, and we were commenting on, on this last time, we were commenting how smooth he's dressing now. Like, he used to come in just like a piece of shit. He'd be wearing you know, a jersey. And I guess he thought it was all good because it was new. But it was just like a football jersey and hat and shit. He comes in now pimped out. Wearing a fedora. Oh, wow. dude, he had a fucking, like, a, a, a suede, fucking red suede jacket. And the guy's like a presence. He's yeah. a big guy. And I was like, 
And then Bobby Kelly, of course, is sitting there because I'm trying to just say, damn, Patrice, you know, you look good and shit. And Bobby's like, I don't fucking give him that kind of credit, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Shut up.